हॅलो एव्हरी वन दिस इज शीलरत्न बनसोडे फ्रॉम वॉलचंद इन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नॉलॉजी सोलापूर टुडे वी आर गोईंग टू सी द टॉपिक सेक्शन ऑफ सॉलिड्स इन दॅट वील बी सीईंग द इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट इन द प्रिवियस व्हिडिओ वी हॅव ऑलरेडी सीन द इंट्रोडक्शन टू सेक्शन्स ऑफ सॉलिड्स इन दॅट वी हॅव सीन द टाईप्स ऑफ सॉलिड्स हाऊ सॉलिड्स आर क्लासिफाईड then what a role does section plays in solid or in any view and then what are the things to be remember when taking a sectional view and how to draw the sectional view of a solid now in this case we'll move further the learning outcomes that the students will be able to discuss the types of solids or sections of solids now at this moment of the video i suggest you to pause and recall the previous video we have seen how a sectional view looks in the previous video and how the sectional view is represented now let us see what are the types of section planes what are the different conditions of section plane as mentioned previously section plane is an imaginary plane which which is assumed to cut the solid it is assumed that it cuts the solid hence we have different positions or different conditions by which the section of an solid is been imagined or the cutting plane is supposed to cut the solid by different conditions now the first condition that we can see is section plane parallel to hp and perpendicular to vp the first condition is the section plane is parallel to hp it is horizontal and perpendicular to vp that is exactly horizontal then we have section plane parallel to vp and perpendicular to hp here the plane is parallel to vp that is it is exactly vertical and perpendicular to hp then we have section plane inclined to hp and perpendicular to vp then we have section plane inclined to vp and perpendicular to hp and then at the last we have section plane perpendicular to both the reference planes that is hp and vp so these are some of the conditions by which the section of a solid can be obtained we have six cases depending upon where it is parallel and perpendicular to any of the reference planes we'll move further the first condition section plane parallel to hp and perpendicular to vp this is the condition how it looks this is your solid this is the vertical plane this is your horizontal plane and your solid is resting on hp on its base we have a cylinder over here it is resting on its base and axis perpendicular to hp and parallel to vp that is it is exactly vertical axis is exactly vertical the yellow thing that you can see on the screen is your cutting plane this yellow portion is your cutting plane now when we see that it has been cut you can see the upper portion has been removed now here see the plane is parallel to hp and perpendicular to vp perpendicular to vp so this is the first condition and its corresponding uh, view or orthographic view you can see on the screen here we try to draw the top view below xy line and front view above xy line this is the actual size of your solid and this is the size of your solid after being cut by the cutting plane which is parallel to hp and perpendicular to vp this is the cutting plane that is being represented so this is the cutting plane as it is perpendicular to vp it is seen as a line view parallel to xy and it is seen in 
front view then the second condition section plane parallel to hp sorry parallel to vp and perpendicular to hp this is the third condition second condition here we again consider a cylinder resting on its base similar to the previous condition its axis vertical the cutting plane is here this is your cutting plane it is parallel to hp parallel so parallel to vp and perpendicular to hp as the condition mentions now this is the cut portion of your cylinder this part of the cylinder is being removed the portion that comes in between the observer and the object is being removed its corresponding sectional view in orthographic form this part has been removed as the plane is parallel to vp and perpendicular to hp so we get sectional top view and this is the revised or front view of the solid after being cut so here you can see the section lines over here this is the cutting plane now as cutting plane is parallel to vp and perpendicular to hp it is seen in top view this was the second condition moving further we have section plane inclined to hp and perpendicular to vp so this is the condition you have your horizontal plane you have your vertical plane this is the solid here it is a cylinder again resting on its base with its axis vertical that is axis is parallel to vp and perpendicular to hp now it is cut by a section plane a cutting plane which is inclined to hp as you can see on screen and perpendicular to vp and perpendicular to vp here you can see the exact position of the section plane and below you can see the cut solid or solid after being cut we have the orthographic view here you will see the exact position this is the top view and this is the front view now front view you can see the section plane or the cutting plane this portion of the cylinder is being removed because observer as is at the top here is the observer so the part that comes in between the cutting plane and the observer is supposed to be removed for time being so here this is the new shape when the solid is being cut by the cutting plane that is inclined to hp and perpendicular to vp then we have the fourth condition that is section plane inclined to vp and perpendicular to hp so inclined to vp as you can see on screen the plane is inclined to vp and perpendicular to hp and perpendicular to hp this is the solid again the same condition resting on base its axis parallel to vp its axis parallel to vp then we have the sectional view this is the cutting plane and at behind you can see the solid that is being cut let us plot its orthographic view so this is the orthographic view this is how the solid is being cut this part has been removed and this is the remaining part its corresponding view in front view is this this portion is circular and can be seen directly where the cutting plane has not touched the cylinder but in this case here this much portion has been seen with section lines or has been shown with section lines so this is the fourth condition 
then we have section plane perpendicular to both HP and VP. Perpendicular to both HP and VP, we have cylinder with the resting on base axis vertical. This is how it is being cut and its corresponding orthographic view. Thank you.